Well, life is never boring in Washington, uh, and uh, quite clearly um, that again is the case. But what is clear from this particular transcript that's been made public is that the Prime Minister reiterated a, a principal motivation behind our border protection policies is to prevent those evil people smugglers having a product to sell. And that is why we don't want and won't allow uh, people who try to come to Australia in an unauthorised manner by boat to settle on our shores. The Prime Minister also reiterated that the President and the United States obviously had a process where they could vet those who were to come to the United States and then that would continue and then that would be an option uh, for the President. Some have suggested that the Prime Minister uh, went as far as uh, saying to the President that you only have to go through the motions, that he was trying to placate him in that sense. Is that right? Absolutely wrong. The Prime Minister stood up for Australia's interest. He stood up for the deal that he had agreed uh, with the Obama administration and he made that point very forcefully, as we already knew. Uh, about that conversation with the President. And quite clearly, uh, that is what we expect of our Prime Minister and that is what he has done. To your portfolio area now, and, and the Prime Minister and yourself will be meeting with energy company chiefs this week. You, the PM's written to these companies as well about power pricing. What exactly do you want from these companies? Is it simply about more transparency to customers? Well, it's more than just transparency, although that is going to be absolutely critical. Uh, it's also about facilitating the movement of particularly lower income households from the high standing offers um, to the cheaper market offers. Uh, we received a report from the Australian Energy Market Commission just a week ago, which showed about half the households across the country are either sticking with the same retailer or sticking with the same contract after five years, even though their discounts might have run out after one or two years. Uh, and a lot of people don't understand or don't know when their discount period actually ends, and that prevents them from moving to a lower offer. So the Australian Energy Regulator has indicated that households could save $1,000 or more by moving a retailer or contract, mm. and we want to ensure that that happens given that lower-income households yeah. in particular are paying a far higher proportion of their income on energy as prices rise. Yeah, for a lower-income household, it's, it's a huge amount. So upwards of $1,000, as you say, in some of the states. Have the companies been ripping customers off? Well, it's more about have the companies been as transparent and as helpful as they could be and should be. And that's what we want to get to the bottom of, and that's what the ACCC uh, is also looking at. Um, we have a broader ACCC review, which will be completed by June of next year, with an interim report um, due to the government shortly. But we can't afford to wait. Uh, we do need to get on with the job uh, of ensuring greater transparency and greater facilitation of lower income households into the better market offers. We often talk about the social licence that, that banks have in our economy and, and community. Do you think that the energy company chiefs understand the, the social licence that they operate within? Well, I think they understand how important energy prices and energy bills are to, you know, to households' expenditure and to the, to the viability of business. Uh, that being said, there are also companies that seek to maximise their profits uh, and we want to be very sure that the margins, the profit margins that are being um, attributed to these companies are ones that are market-based and internationally competitive and not, you know, uh, seeing uh, the, uh, the companies line their coffers at the expense of consumers and households. Josh Frydenberg, Energy and Environment Minister, appreciate your time. Thanks. Good to be with you.